What's going on, everybody? Big Red here. Thank you all for tuning into my Red Talk. Okay, today is Sunday, March 31st. It is Easter Sunday, and I hope everybody is having a good time. Get to see, you know, the fams. If you're doing stuff today, if you're not, you're just hanging, you're chilling. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very, very nice out today. I have to say, it's probably, I don't know, 60, 65 degrees out today. And I'll tell you what, I'm pretty fucking pumped because I got propane for my barbecue. Got some nice ribeyes I'm cooking up for dinner tonight. So I am much excited for dinner. I really, really can't wait to eat. I'm not going to lie. Kind of haven't really eaten all day. And I am going to go in on some ribeyes tonight. That's a fact. So, I wanted to come on here today because I went this morning to a grocery store. If you've been following around, right, we've, uh, I've come to a roadblock at my local grocery store here, a stop and shop. And every time I go, there's no meat selection. There's no, like, it's just, it's expensive and it's like... It's scary, right, how little stuff is there. But uh, I've been experimenting with different grocery stores now. So this morning, which, by the way, hot tip, okay, if you want to, like, be the most productive, all right, we're not doing anything for Easter today because she's really not feeling well, so I just want to stay home. And went to the store nobody at the store it was great nobody really on the roads nothing it's like like if you want to have a productive day do it on a holiday all right because man but i digress back to back to the point i was about to make the store i went to today um i'm pretty sure i don't know if they're nationwide or not i know they're all over like the new york and I want to say the Northeast region, at least, is Stu Leonard's. Now, Stu Leonard's is probably, hands down, the craziest store I've ever been in. I It is, first of all, the way it works. So you walk in, and right away they hit you with, like, you know, pre-made food. Here's this. They have an ice cream bar. They have a coffee bar. They have everything, like, right as soon as you walk in. Right then they hit you with the sweets. So now it's like, oh, okay, here we have cookies and cupcakes and cakes. Right? Then you keep going and everything's in sections as you go through. And the way it is, you have to like snake through the entire store. And it's made that way. So you walk past and see everything in the store. Now, business wise, fucking genius. Stu, you're a genius, bro. Because we bought so much shit that we didn't need for no reason whatsoever, but we got it because we walked past it. Simple enough. So, Stu, good job. I'll shake your hand on that one. You, you, you done did good there, pal. That's, uh, I'm impressed. Um, my main reason for going was because I wanted to check out what their meat selection was like because my grocery store is dog shit um meat selection there was pretty good i got bone-in ribeyes for dinner tonight because they were on sale which wasn't too bad um you know the price was just about what everything is now honestly like if you're not going to costco and buying it in eight to twelve pound increments you're gonna spend a good amount of money on it that's kind of just the way it is and i hate to say it like that but it fucking sucks but good thing is, I eat enough where I could just go to Costco, you know? So, but this was like my quick little fix. So I wanted to check this out and see what they had there. So, did that. Good selection. They had, uh, you know, all the pre-packed stuff. And then they have like a butcher counter where you can go and look at whatever cuts of meat you want from there. And I will say... They had some tomahawk steaks there that you could buy. And 
I might have to get after one of those this summer because they looked so fucking good. I was mind blown, mind blown, huge too. Like I'm talking probably this long. All right, tip the bone. I think it was like $28 a pound, which I don't know if that's a good deal or not for tomahawks. I'm assuming it's either run of the mill or kind of expensive, but you know, they get you because the bone probably weighs a lot too. So you kind of pay for bone there, but whatever. I'm going to buy one, definitely get one for the summer, and I'm going to cook the shit out of that because I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm excited for that one. And yeah, but I was happy. The meat selection was good. They had a lot of options. There was a lot of different cuts, everything. It didn't look like a absolute apocalyptic, apocalyptic wasteland like my Stop and Shop does. So good to go there. Very happy with that. But it's Stu Leonard's in general. It's just like, it's crazy. And they have like f animatronic, like farm animals and stuff that you can go and like you push buttons and the stuff turns on. It's crazy. Place is absolutely crazy. Comment down below. Have you ever been to a Stu Leonard's? Because I've, I've gone quite a few times. And every time I go, I leave and I'm like, this is the last time I'll go in here. Because one, it's fucking chaotic. And two, I end up buying three times the amount of shit that I need because I walk past and I'm like, ooh, look at this. Okay, for example, today, got a fucking eight-inch chocolate, like, whoopie pie thing. Cake, like a pie, right? I think it's just chocolate mousse in a pie. Like, did not need that, but I bought it. Stu, you're a genius, bro. Absolute genius. I commend you for what you what you do there it's a very good job very good job so drop a comment down below i want to know do you guys go to Stu leonard's have you ever been there if you uh like if that's your regular grocery store we might need to have a conversation because might be something a little cuckoo going on upstairs if that's your uh your normal go-to so but yeah, other than that, I'm going to leave it on that, okay? Guys, go enjoy. Enjoy your Sunday. It's absolutely beautiful out, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Please make sure, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the post notifications on, all that good shit. I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.